video is going to be a pop art inspiration video. And I want to have a picture of the girl somewhere around here. And yeah, let's get started. So I essentially prep my skin. I use the VDL primer for the first time and I'm so happy with it. It feels so nice and like a dream. The cool thing is you just press it, you take the product, you pat it in, and voila, your face is primed and ready to take on the day. And the cool thing is compact, you can take it, you can take it on the go, you don't have to worry about getting germs all over your beauty blender and things like that. I was not paid to say that, I'm just, it's convenient and I like it. It's great for those on the go girls or on the go moments that you really need. You know, something that you don't have to worry that's going to get germy and stuff like that. Just saying. And then I went in with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. So far in the shade Buff. And so far I do like it. We're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> then I added my Too Faced Born This Way powder all over the face and under the eyes to bake. Obviously, Born This Way concealer underneath the eyes, like you guys know. I kind of want to start with my red, my lips, and I'm going to go in with Jeffree Star's Red Rum. Looks just like that. And also, don't worry if it's not perfect, we're not going... We're gonna line our lips with black, so don't worry about it. Oof. Start off with eyes, so we're gonna take a flat brush and we're gonna go into a white eyeshadow and we're just gonna press it into our eye on just on the lid. It's gonna help with the giving of the pop art effect. We're just pressing it in. Not the biggest fan when it comes to eyeliner. I don't really care for it. If I don't have to do it, I don't do it. I just don't like it personally. I think it's, if if anyone asked me what can I live without and liner was one of the options, I'd be like eyeliner, hands down. As long as I have my falsies, I'm fine. <laughs> That's how much I despise eyeliner. I just, I can't, but yeah. I'm gonna try the MAC Liquid Liner, Liquid Last Liner. Hey guys, so I just did a little wing and then I went ahead and I started outlining my lips because I just, I'm trying to go all over the place. <laughs> That's usually my style, but I went in with the Kajal Vasanti Waterline Eyeliner in Intense Black. Looks just like that. And I started outlining my lips as such. And... I'm just starting off little by little because I don't want to go too ham on the lips or anywhere because once you just go too hard and you go in with a lot, you can't reverse it. It's always better to just go little by little. So just in case if you want to see how I outline the lips, if you're not so familiar with it, follow me. So what I did is I just outlined the natural, when you do line, I, I mean lip liner, you're supposed to follow the natural line of your lip when oversizing or if you're just lining. So, just follow like so. Get this next. So, we're gonna go and just outline a few more parts. So we're gonna go above the cupid's bow. And the way she has it is as if she connects right here. Now we could actually do this part with liner. Eyeliner, like liquid eyeliner, I think it'll be a lot better. So we'll go in with a sturdier eyeliner pen and that will be the 
one by Kat Von D. Looks just like that. And then we're going to do a little arrow. Then I go on the side of the nose and do that and do a little, <laughs> I'm so nervous for this part. I'm so nervous for this part. Okay. Okay. So for that part, I laid it flat on my nose and I moved my head with it. I did not move my hand at all. I just let the pen glide <laughs> because mistakes were going to happen if I tried to do it myself. A little swoop like that and it looks like she's doing like this. We're gonna go in with the black matte liner, I mean, <laughs> matte eyeshadow in jet. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna set this so it stays put. Oh, sorry, we're going to go back in with the eyeliner from Kat Von D and we're just going to outline it. You're never supposed to tug on your eye, but I'm just doing it because it's being a little stubborn right now and I need this product to go on. In a nice way. And now to add some more dimension, I'm just taking that white crayon and putting it on the bottom of my eyes. And I'm going to drag it a little bit lower. Elf is not terrible. Not my favorite, but not terrible. Let's put that on the bottom. We're going to draw our lash line, obviously, right where the white is. And then draw the lashes. mistake you basically want to hold the brush this way when you're making the lashes just for a more natural looking effect and yeah so I went back in with Jet from Kevon D and we're just going to make the inner nose block I essentially started outlining my teardrops and oops and just think of you want to start like a triangle at top but then you want to curve it at the bottom essentially and I'm going in with a light hand just to see to outline it and then I'm going to go in with this blue waterproof I crayon by Sephora. It is in the shade Peacock Blue. I wanna see it. No, I'm in. Um, <laughs> we're gonna fill that in. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner and a liquid eyeliner. I'm just gonna make it more defined, the teardrop. Wish me luck, pray for me. And just make sure your hand is to rest your hand on your face or somewhere that you know it's going to be steady if you suffer from shaky hand syndrome like me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Let me just fill you in what I did. So I drew the lines over here with the, where'd you go? with the ink liner in Trooper by Kat Von D. Looks just like that. The felt tip pen, I just dragged it and then dragged it. I didn't like how I did with my nose, but except I actually moved my hand for that one because I'm not going to go like, you know, it's kind of weird. But anyway, did that. I drew lines over here to mimic contour and definition. I also did that on my jawline. What else did I do? I finished up the lashes. I actually added on lashes from Huda Beauty. And I can't remember if these are the Camille or Sasha. They're, these are one of the two lashes. <laughs> Love them. They're incredible. Don't sleep on her lashes. What else? I added some white over here to the teardrops and to the lips to highlight those points and create more of that 3D effect. Eyebrows look a little crazy, but we're going with it. <laughs> I went in with my Goof Proof pencil by Benefit in the shade four. And then to deepen them, I actually went in with, if I could find it, my Anastasia, my first love, forever love. Brow Powder Duo in the shade of medium and I now if you like this video if you like me please like subscribe give me some love show me some likes give me some compliments in the section down below let me know what you think and all that fun stuff thank you again love you all and see you in my next video happy almost Halloween <laughs>